Oh my goodness gracious gosh, Mochi's surgery was an absolute roller coaster. But did we expect any less? Did we really think that that medical anomaly was going to stay within the range of a normal medical anomaly? No, we don't get off that easy here. So welcome back to Wonky Wednesday and let me tell you what the Wonkadonk happened this week. First, thanks to you guys, Mochi here went into surgery so that he could gain the desired title as diaperless boy. So what had happened was that Mochi arrived into our care leaking some peas. And to my radar die, Dr. Hakobo, I said, Dr. Hakobo, listen to me. I cannot have another diaper cat. The club is exclusive and it is at capacity. We need to fix this. Tell me we can fix this. And he said, oh my God, yeah, we can fix that. Based on his previous diagnostics, it was discovered that Mochi had an ectopic ureter, which means that the kidney did not route properly to the bladder. Instead, it routed down to the urethra so that it just dripped right out. So we had to call in an experienced electrician who could reroute the wiring properly. But then I got a call right when surgery started saying, um, hey, Megan, um, we might not be able to fix this. And I said, that's fine. It's just the entirety of my sanity that's at risk here, but why exactly? Exactly. And he said, well, it's looking like it's possible that both ureters are ectopic. And if that's the case and we operate and surgery is not successful, then we're left with no kidneys and a dead cat. And we said, no, that was not the goal here. And I said, carry on, get a closer look, and I will sit here pissing my pants on Mochi's behalf. So then I get a call again, and they're like, okay, we're a little further in here, and now we have a new concern. So great news. He did, in fact, grow two bladders. Good boy. However, they are conjoined and operating as one unit. Looking at this, we're not sure that it's the ureters at all. In fact, the problem might might be a malfunction with his sphincter, which is the muscle that controls the push and the hold of the urine. And if that's the case, there's still nothing we can do. So we're not looking good here. And I said, okay, well, I'm at work and my boss is looking at me like I'm an absolute lunatic stepping to the side to scream about a cat bladder. But I believe in you, Dr. Hakobo. I always have. Call me back with good news. And he did. Surgery went as planned, and it turned out to be exactly as expected, the one ectopic ureter, and we were able to successfully repair that. I just hadn't had my meltdown for the day, and the world was gifting me that. Now, did I get my extra souvenir cat bladder that I was hoping for? No. But did I get a successfully peeing cat? Yes. And now Mochi is hospitalized for the remainder of the week while he recovers, and then hopefully he will be home this weekend. You all made this possible, and I am so grateful for you all that I cannot put it to words. None of this would be possible without you. You are the bomb.com, and I honestly just feel so blessed. And also look at this picture. My favorite tech V took this and she said he looks like a puffer fish. And he does. And also side note, if you guys could go report this Facebook account, it is not me and they're growing pretty fast. If you ever see me on Facebook, it's not me. Facebook is for my professional other ego. This is my alter ego. It's not allowed for Facebook. There are people people on Facebook. We don't do that.